Hello everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate how to design a DJT differential amplifier in Tinkercad platform. So as you know that differential amplifier is an important building block for any operational amplifier. So it is the first stage of any operational amplifier and the entire property of operational amplifier depends upon this differential amplifier block. So as you know that differential amplifier is basically amplify the difference of two input signal. So you can design the differential amplifier using BJT or APT. Uh, see the diagram. Here, the transistor Q1 and transistor Q2 forms a differential pair. And RC is the load resistance here, this one the load resistance and we are applying two input v in one and v in two and the resistor rb is used to limit the current okay and in case of differential amplifier the output you will get basic expression of output if you have to some amplification factor into the difference between two input signal this one and we are taking output from the collector of two transistor here. The main point related to the differential amplifier is a constant current source. So you need to bias the whole differential pair using constant current source. So this current is the emitter current of first transistor IE1. So this current is the emitter current of second transistor IE2. So this one is the total current. Okay. So you can say reference current. So I reference equals to I1 plus I2. And this I reference is constant uh, because this section, the section presented here, this bottom part is basically a current mirror circuit, which provides a constant current source, this part which provides a constant current source. And the value of the current you can decide by adjusting the value of this register R1 in the circuit. Okay. So the transistor Q3, what is the current flowing to the transistor Q3? Exactly the same amount of current will flow to the transistor Q4. So that means you can say the mirroring takes place. Okay, So that's why the name of the circuit is called current mirror. It is a very simple version of current mirror. Anyways, if you want, you can improve the performance of this current mirror. So when any one of the input signal will vary, suppose V in one, you are going to increase and V in two, uh, you kept it constant. So the transistor Q1 will be more conductive and IE1 will increase. But since IE1 plus IE2, their addition is equals to I reference and this one is constant. So when I1 increases, so of course the I2 will decrease because they are addition, the summation is constant. Okay. So when one transistor becomes more conductive, okay, so the other side, the current value will decrease. As a result, you will get the output because the output depends upon what is the value of collector current you are getting, IC1 and IC2. Okay. So you can write IC1 equal to alpha times of IE1 and IC2 equal to alpha times of IE2, where alpha is the current gain. So when the emitter current will vary, so of course there will be variation in the collector current. And as a result, you will get two different voltage here. And we are going uh, to uh, the output we are collecting, that is basically the difference between two terminals here. And of course, when you are applying the V in one and V in two, exactly same value. So when V in one equal to V in two, both current will be same, means IE1 and IE2, they are same. Okay, so you have to make sure that transistor Q1 and Q2, they are perfectly matched and having same value of current gain. In that case, the IE1 and IE2, they are same. So IC1 will be equal to IC2. And in that case, the output, if I write V01 here, and at this point, V02, so V01 will be equal to V02. So V out, that is basically difference between 
V01 and V02, that will be zero. That is uh, called the perfectly balanced condition. So when we are applying the same input, the output should be zero. And uh, the VCC, we can, in our design, I'm taking this plus 15 volt, this one is minus 15 volt, and all register value. I have taken 10 kilo. Anyway, so you can vary the value of the register uh, and you can see what are the differences uh, is reflected in the result. So you can check that. So now let's design the circuit. So it is a complicated circuit, so it will take time. So I'm taking a breadboard. So some registers are required. So we need a transistor. So two transistor uh, for the upper part, two transistor for design of a current meter, okay. and we need a supply. So we need dual power supply because one power supply is for plus 15 volt, another one is will be used for minus 15 volt. And also we need oscilloscope so we can put it later. So let's connect the components. So let's design the current meter part. Okay. This one is the collector, this one is base, and this one is the emitter. Okay. So I'm making this one as minus 15 volt. And this one is ground. So let's uh, connect the negative terminal first. And this one will be connected to minus 15 volt. So just to understand it, I'm making one node. This one is minus 15 volt. I just change the polarity. I set the voltage to 15. Similarly, this one will be plus 15 volt. And this one this. So this one is for plus 15 volt. Okay, so we need to connect top and bottom ground together. That's all. Now let's design the current meter. In the current meter, the register is connected to VCC. As you can see the diagram here, In the current meter part, the register R1 connected to VCC through the collector and base. The register connected to VCC here, change the value, 10 kilo ohm. This one is the collector terminal. This. The collector and base are also connected together. So I'm going to sort it. Collector and base connected together. And the emitter, of the transistor connected to minus VEE, that is minus 15 volt. And for other part of current meter, the emitter is connected to minus VEE, minus 15. Base of both the transistors connected together. And here, collector will be connected to the upper part, that is BJT differential amplifier. So this one is the current meter. Now let's design that uh, amplifier part. For each amplifier, we need to connect one register, that's 10K, that is basically RC, which is connected to the collector, 10 kilo ohm. Ten kilo ohm, I'm going to connect it to the collector terminal. Yes. 
emitter terminal of both the transistors connected together let's connect it and after connecting all these now see the diagram from emitter it is connected to the current mirror this one So this part is our current mirror, this part, so I am going to connect it. I'm taking a different wire. That's all. So now collector part design is complete. Current mirror design is complete, emitter part design is complete. Now, we have to connect the signal at this terminal. So here I am applying one signal. And uh, let's uh, take another one base we can take here. So here I am applying another one signal. So this is the 10 kilo ohm. This is also 10 kilo ohm. Okay, so here I'm going to apply the V1 and V2, and for that we need a function generator. Okay, so this one is for applying V1. This one is for applying V2, let's put a tag. And let's connect the CRO to observe output. The CRO will be connected to the two collector terminal. Just see the diagram. CRO will be connected between this point and this point, V out. So this is one collector terminal. I am going to connect one CRO here. Uh, this is another one collector terminal. I am going to connect another one terminal here. Let's change the color. Yeah. So now I apply signal. So first make the common ground. This one. Then this one I am going to connect here, and this will be connected to the base. Similarly, this one I'm going to connect here. This will be connected to the base. Now let's adjust the function is sine. <clears throat> no DC offset is required, make it zero. Amplitude that I'm applying, 10 millivolt. And let frequency is 1000 hertz. Similarly for this, change the DC offset to zero, the sine wave. Amplitude let I am taking 20 millivolt. So V in one I am taking 10 millivolt, V in two I am taking 20 millivolt, and frequency one kilohertz. So I adjust time per division. Let 0 0.5 millisecond. I think the design is done. Let's simulate it. So the result is not coming. Okay, just uh, note that there is a mistake here. So this red will be connected to ground and this black one will be connected to this line, which I am taking as a minus 15 volt because it is minus 15 and here you are applying 15. That means you have to change the polarity. So, Check the design in a previous case, it was wrong. Just interchange the connection. Let's start the simulation. See, we are getting some output. See the input we are applying here, it is 10 millivolt in the VN1 and VN2, that is 20 millivolt. And uh, see the output we are getting. So if you see the oscilloscope, it is four volt, it 
is having 10 division along y axis. So each division represents 0.4 volt. So the peak to peak output, how much division we are getting? One, two division, three division, four division. And uh, this is approximately half, and this is half. So five division. So five into 0.4, so two volt, we are getting at the output, so two volt. So input is our 10 millivolt, 20 millivolt. So difference is 10 millivolt only. And at the output, we are getting two volt. So the amplification factor two divided by 0 0.01. Okay. That means around 200. So very good amplification is going on here. So you can vary the value of this current mirror register uh, to get a different amplification. I found that if you are using 10 kilo ohm register, you will get the maximum amplification. Anyway, so you can fine tune it to get more gain. And also we can check the differential property. Let's say I'm applying um, the same voltage. It is 10 millivolt here. Let's uh, restart the simulation. See. It is also 10 millivolt. This one is 10 millivolt, and the output we are getting two nanovolt. You can check. Uh, this is very small, zero. So, which is the property of differential amplifier? When both input are same, so output will be zero. And if I increase the value of any one input, let I am applying 50 millivolt here. See, the output is coming uh, like sine wave, but the clipping uh, is going on because uh, some part of the waveform is outside the operating region of the transistor so that's why the clipping is going on okay so anyways the circuit is working and it gives good amplification so this is the design of uh, basic differential amplifier using bjt and also by using the current mirror circuit i hope this circuit will be useful for you anyways so thank you